friend, Nicholas, died in Somalia. When I met him, we were both living in Gran Canaria. But these matching necklaces thought we were clever. I told him at the time he reminded me of my brother. Both fiercely determined, destined to be doctors. He looked at me and said, is that right? He said, in that case, your brother must be smart, funny and handsome too then. I laughed and said yes. The bomb was so strong that most victims could not be identified. It actually took me five weeks to learn of his fate. Every day, I saw papers detail the events of the shooting in Vegas. 58 victims described and mourned, yet just two weeks later, over 300 Somalians ignored. I learned more news of strangers and the boy I'd learned to surf with as though covering his life had not been deemed worth it. I looked at Nicholas and saw my brother. Others looked at him, saw the third world urchins, the BBC leak through comic relief sob reels. We are taught they're used to extremities. So we could not assimilate. Nicholas was too much other. So he mustn't have suffered. He was too much other. 